Hello everyone and welcome to the 8th CSS video tutorial here at beginnertouch.com. In this video I'll be showing you how you can combine lists and links in CSS in order to make a navigation bar. As always I have created two files, a CSS file and a HTML file. Inside of the HTML file I have linked to the CSS file. In addition I have made a list down here. This unordered list contains four list items. Inside of each list item I have placed a link. The first link is called home, the second about, the third news and the fourth is contact. Instead of explaining too much in this video, I'll just quickly run through um, how to make this navigation bar because you probably already know um, the codes that I will be showing because I will only be using properties, tags and codes um, shown in previous videos. Let's try taking a quick look at this uh, list as it is. And this is it. Far from a navigation bar, but we're gonna change that using CSS. The first thing I'm gonna do is to go into my style sheet and make an overall styling for my list. So I'm gonna go in here. First I'd like to make a unique and specific styling for my list. So I'm gonna call it nav. In here I'd like to style the property called list style type and I set that to none. Then I would like to remove the white space um, to the left of my list so I'm just gonna type in padding and set that to zero pixels. Now we're then gonna go into our HTML document and add this to our opening tag and because it's a unique styling I'm gonna use the ID attribute and as we recall we call it nav. So let's try viewing it in the browser now. As you can see the list markers has now been removed and we have also removed the white padding area. So now I want to make a class styling for my list items. So I'm going to go into my style sheet. I'm going down here. I'm going to type dot li nav. And the only thing I want to style in here is float. I want my list items to float left so they are aligned next to each other. Like that. And then I'm going to go into my HTML document and add this styling to all my list items. And remember, this was a class. So it was called list nav. Like that. And then I'm going to just copy this one and insert it in all the list items. Let's view it in the browser. And as you can see, they are now aligned next to each other. However, now it pretty much looks like one big messy link but I'm gonna change that so I'm gonna go into my style sheet and style my links. I'm gonna jump down here and down here I'm gonna make my class link styling so I'm gonna type a nav because that's my class name for my links then type link and the curly brackets. Then I'm gonna add some properties first I'm gonna add the display property I would like that to be block. What this basically does is instead of only being able to press the text in the link, now you will also be able to press the outer areas of the link and it will still work. So if this was the link, then instead of only being able to press the text, then I would also be able to place the dark blue area around the text. Now I'm going to add a width to the link. It should be 200 pixels. I would also like to add a font weight that should be bold. In addition I would like the color of the font to be white and I would like to add a background color and that should be gray. I would actually also like some text alignment. I would like the text to be aligned in the middle so I'm just gonna use text align and center it. Also I would like some padding so that the text isn't cramped together like you saw before. So I'm gonna add padding and let's just give it 5 pixels padding. And now instead of making an entirely new um, styling of my A visited, I can just add it up here by typing comma and then A nav visited like that. So now a visited and a link has the same styling. Now I would like to make a styling for my a hover. So I'm going to type in a nav 
hover and the curly brackets like that and the only thing I would like to change when hovering over the link is the background color so I'm just gonna type background color and I would like the background color to turn light gray when hovering over the link and the color code for light gray is this CC and again instead of making an A active styling I could just go in here type comma and then type A nav active so now we have made a link styling so let's go into our HTML document and add this link styling to our link I'm gonna go into my link opening tag and add the class and as you call we call it nav I'm just gonna copy this class and add it to all the links now let's try viewing it in the browser and as you can see our links has now been styled according to our link styling they're wide and they are 200 pixels they have four pixels of padding and they have a light gray color when you hover over them but we have one slight problem and that is that they're not aligned anymore um, if I do like this they will automatically aligned but they do not stay aligned um, it is however quite easy to fix so I'm just gonna go into my style sheet then I'm gonna go to my list styling up here and tab in width because now I want to set a fixed width for this list and that should be 840 pixels the reason for choosing 840 pixel is that every link is 200 pixel wide and it has 5 pixels of padding on each side so that gives uh, 840 pixels when you have 4 links now let's take a final look at it in the browser and as you can see the navigation bar is now aligned as it should be no matter how small the browser window is it will stay aligned I can do like this and you will see the full result so there you have it, a simple and easy to manage navigation bar. If you want this navigation bar, please go to beginnertouch.com where you can download the source code. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.